Yes. Yeah, it's not listening to Google. Nat, are you watching this on Ustream? Yes, I am. Okay. What is your special need this morning? I want to stand in the gap for a pastor of mine. Um, uh, he is in Guyana. A pastor friend? A pastor friend in Guyana? Yes. Okay. I need situation where, um, I just need that he be remembered in prayer. He is um, Pastor Andrew Hannibal. That is his name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Precious Father, we ask you to look into this. Visit this man. And we ask you to solve every problem in his life. No matter how the problems emanated. We ask for an uncommon visitation that will take a hold of him and never let him go. We ask that your gift and your spirit come upon him and upon whatever you have chosen him to participate in in this physical planet. Let there be fruits. Let there be fruit to show that it is you who is at work. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> is there somebody else who has a need this morning that yes, you, okay? orientation for the job or yes. are or are yes. okay yes. okay Precious Father, give this girl victory. Have they told you how much it is an hour? For the first 90 days, it will be $10 an hour, but after 90 days, when I get hired on permanently, it's 1465 This is the same thing I wrote in the line. Okay, are you going to stay? That's what I'm, I'm hearing. Are you going? Are you are you going to stay there permanently without you finding a reason to get out? I want to. Okay. Gracious Father, stop this girl and make her to stay permanently and from here promote her to something big. I ask for your personal intervention in the life of this girl. I demand that the cycle of doom and frustration be broken. redirect her path so that she can enjoy life. Life in its abundance. Life in heaven on earth. 
I call this B. Come upon this girl and stay. Money come to stay. Permanent relationship. Happy relationship. Come to stay. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Lord, concerning the two prayers we prayed this morning, we receive what we've asked. We ask for an uncommon favor to come upon the man in Guyana and the girl in Chicago, that they may know that Jesus, you are alive and you are still at work. Amen. Amen and Amen. Okay, continue. 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 We are listening. Yes, Bishop. Um, uh, my request is for every person of this ministry and everyone that ever supports the work of God and that has the need that is present before the Lord and He has not even been met yet. I, my prayer today is for all of them to receive every single thing that they ask to God and to be manifest quickly in their life and their situation. Amen. Precious Father, we ask for every partner who have prayed for one thing or the other who are waiting. They have already received what they've asked according to your word. But because it is earthly things that they've requested, sometimes the manifestation do not come immediately. Now I ask you to place human and angelic beings to make this to be physically given to them. Since Holy Spirit, you are here on the earth, make the things that we have requested as partners of this ministry to be put in our hand because we understand who you are, that you are the Trinitarian technician. You make what Jesus releases to us to be made manifest in the physical planet. Therefore, we ask for this to happen. We also ask for the release of the angels of heaven to bring this apart. We ask for angels to come among us as humans, in the form of humans, to make this happen. We ask for miracles the working of miracles be released. We are willing to see these phenomena. We are willing to see this happening in the lives of our partners. The reason is, you said you came to give life and to give it more abundantly. And that is the ground for this request. And Lord, we thank you. There are many of our partners who are weak, who do not have the gift of waiting. So before they turn to Satan, before they give up, surprise them. I know that this is not even the idea, that the idea is for us to become strong. I know that sometimes you want us to wait until you place the right people 
until we have enough strength to protect and to really, really value what we are asking for, then they are released to us. Therefore, Lord, we are willing to protect them. We are willing to cherish and value them for a very long time. And we thank you that we have received and they are ours. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Next. Who has a prayer need? Next. I need a debt cancellation for my student loan. All right. Are there people who need a debt cancellation? Yes. 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 Precious Father, you are not the God of debt. You know that through our appetites, Satan uses debt to increase our worries and our sickness, or sicknesses, to increase anxiety, panic, to increase sadness, to make the happiness that we feel when we bought the car, bought the house, or had the student loan to fizzle out and to die. We ask this morning, right here in your altar, that you cancel debts in our lives. I curse every debt in the lives of our partners be canceled and die. God, I ask that the credit history of our partners be made beautiful again, be made healthy. Not so much that they will go out and get other loans, but so that they will understand the laws of the universe. I call you, O oh Father, Everybody shout the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Dear Father, the blood of your Son is for deliverance. We plead, we call the blood into activity. Everywhere where the names of your people, wherever our names appeared in depth, every one of you out there who are participating in this prayer, I want you to ask God if carelessly you received money or bought things that you shouldn't have. I want you to ask God to forgive you that you are willing. The principle is based on Jesus saying, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And part of it is what the Holy Spirit told me. Repentance means changing your ways, changing the way you do business. And if you do that, God gives you an offer. And that offer is debt cancellation. And that offer is born again to enjoy life. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for the cancellation of debt. Believe you receive it and ask God to move you into the territory of heaven and for you to begin to enjoy life. Begin to pray right now. Lord, I stand here this morning as a spiritual leader, as a ruler of your people globally, to ask for governance we ask of for governance for buying things we shouldn't buy, getting money we shouldn't get, or getting things we should not, or things that actually we needed. And we did not go through 
with paying slowly and paying it off. Sometimes when the money was there, we asked for forgiveness. And now we receive, O oh Father, the offer that you've given to your people, which is the offering of our kingdom, so that we are born again and spirit filled to enjoy life forever. Lord, we receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we are willing to be free from debt. Your people are willing to be free from debt. Cancel every debt. We plead the blood of Jesus to cancel every debt that Satan wants to use as opposition, as accusation, as judgment, and as a hindrance against our happiness and our joy. Every debt that Satan wants to use to destroy our reputation and to destroy an, our inability to become creative and to become entrepreneurs, businessmen and women, to destroy our ability to pray and to worship, to destroy our relationship with you. We call upon you to destroy those debts this morning and to cancel them. What we have agreed on the earth must be given to us in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we receive what we have asked. We are willing to do things differently. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay. Amen.